now let us discuss about p rom in short we can call it as programmable read only memory first let's see what is p rom p rom has a fixed and gate array followed by a programmable or gate array so here the and gate array is fixed it is not programmable we can't do any programming on the and gates here in order to implement this fixed and gate array we are using a decoder so by default in p rom and gate array means it is a decoder for implementing that uh, collection of the and gates we will use a decoder followed by programmable or gate array so or gate array means we will have a collection of or gates so we can do some programming on the or gates but and gates are fixed they are not programmable so let's take an example implementation of boolean functions using p rom so in the examination mainly the question will be given on some examples so implementation of some full adder using p rom or half adder or half subtractor or full subtractor or any number conversion system like binary to bcd bcd to gray any conversion okay so some truth table or boolean function will be given so for that truth table we have to find the min terms so for the min terms we have, we will design the p rom we will uh, use p rom for implementing those min terms okay uh, so let we have two functions so this is f1 this is f2 uh, so first let us uh, evaluate for f1 let us find the uh, min terms for f1 so for that purpose here we have uh, drawn the truth table here the inputs are a b c so a b c we have three inputs so total we will have 2 power 3 that is eight combinations from 0 to 7 0 to 7 so decimal number 0 in binary notation is 3 0 next one in binary notation is 0 0 1 likewise 7 in binary notation is 3 1 so if we observe here in the boolean function we have a bar b bar c bar here this is min term we know about min term sum of products so there the actual variable is 1 so a means 1 whereas a bar means complemented variable that is 0 so a bar b bar c bar means 3 bull 0 so here we have 3 bull 0 so here a value is 0 so a bar b value is 0 b bar c value is 0 c bar so here the value is 1 next a bar b c bar means this is 0 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 means 1 next a bar b c so 0 1 1 is present so we have to write 1 here so write 1 next a b bar c bar so 1 double 0 so here we have 1 so remaining min terms so f1 value is 0 so 0 0 next let us see about f2 so a bar b plus b c bar plus a c bar so in every term one variable is missing so it is not in the standard form so in order to obtain in the standard form so we are using this one a bar b plus so here the missing term is c so that's why we are multiplying with c plus c bar we know the formula a plus a bar equal to 1 so likewise if we observe the second min term a is missing so that's why b c bar into we are multiplying with a plus a bar next here b is missing so a c bar into b plus b bar next do the multiplications a bar b c a bar b c bar next a b c bar so likewise do the multiplications if we have multiple terms then we need to write only one term okay so if you see here a bar b c appeared only once so that is written next if you see here a bar b c bar a bar b c bar so this term is appearing twice but we have to write only one term so that is a bar b a bar b c bar a bar b c bar if you see this one also a b c bar so this term is also appearing twice so there is no need to write twice so a b c bar and what is the last one a b bar c bar a b bar c bar so if you see here here we have a bar b c so a bar b c means 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 means 1 next a bar b c bar so that means 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 means 1 next a b c bar means 1 1 0 so 1 1 0 1 
next a b bar c bar means 1 double 0 so 1 double 0 means 1 so remaining values so f2 value is 0 f2 value is 0 f2 value is 0 now we have to implement this with the help of the uh, with the help of the p row so this is p row uh, so here uh, here it has fixed indicator array so in order to implement the fixed indicator array we are using a decoder so here we have how many inputs three inputs and it is producing eight outputs so three by eight decoder it has three inputs and it is totally producing eight outputs from y0 to y7 so this is internally implemented with the help of the undi gates so y0 means triple zero triple zero so and operation will be performed on abc so internally this is implemented using the undi gate next here we have two outputs here we have two outputs so what is the first output the first output is f1 and the second output is f2 so the first one is so we have to use r gate so what is the first output f1 and what is the second output the second output is f2 the second output is f2 so here r gates are programmable so according to the output we can program the r gates so what is f1 f1 means triple zero so triple zero in binary notation is triple zero in decimal notation is one so we have to put cross mark here triple zero in decimal notation is zero so this is zero so put cross mark next this is one so zero one zero means so this is four two one so zero one zero means two so this is y2 so put cross mark here next 0 1 1 means 3 so this output is 3 next 1 double 0 means 4 so put cross mark here so here f1 is nothing but sum of 0 2 3 4 mean terms so f1 equal to what is f1 that is equal to sigma m of directly we can write so 0 comma this is 2 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 likewise what is f2 f2 equal to sigma m of 0 1 0 means so this is 2 second min term so this is third one this is fourth one so 2 3 4 and we have one more that is 6 6 so 2 3 4 6 so this is second one so 2 put cross mark so 3 next one 4 and 6 so f2 is nothing but sigma m of 2 3 4 6 so in this way we can solve any problem very very easily with the help of the p row so simply we have to draw the truth table so if the min terms are directly given like this so directly we can draw the table whereas if some boolean if some truth table is given or if some problem is given then according to the problem we are going to construct the truth table and then you you can easily solve the problem